Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of The Legacy of the Vikings. Vikings, Vikings, Vikings. We are the Vikings, everyone. So as we all know, we went through one of the best wars I think we've ever gone through in this campaign. I mean, without a doubt, it was probably the best war we've ever gone through. I mean, hands down, we just, like, destroyed everything. So, there are some short problems though, which is, at first I didn't realize, which is, all of our troops are, tra are stranded over here in Hodenstein. So we're going to casually and calmly reclaim back all of our land. And, as is typical in my Let's Play, as you guys all very well know at this point, I will be fabricating more cores onto Denmark. <laughs> Until, like I said, we will be just coring the heck. Oh, I have to wait. We have recently sent, so we cannot send. Dang it. Okay. So, I can't core them. That kind of stinks, because I was hoping to get some more land from them. But once I can, which is in how many years? 26th of July? Okay, so once I get back in the 26th of July, I will, uh, basically core them. Okay, we're going to have to divide it up one more time. My king is under a mil- Oh my goodness, I am so scared. Oh, shoot. That actually is scary. <laughs> I was I was almost gonna mock him for a second, but that's scary. Okay, I can't. Sorry, guys. There's a certain extent to where I can fight, and that's really where I have to really draw the line. Cause Moscow, I, I could probably deal with Denmark by myself, but Moscow. Well, you know, it's a good thing they actually did it at the perfect time, cause I can't really go to war with any of my neighbors anytime soon. So this is like the perfect time to just like chick kick back and just relax and also I think what I'm gonna start doing is I think I'm actually going to start building a proper fleet like I've been seriously neglecting this part of the entire game for a very long time <laughs> as a lot of you guys know I neglected almost every one of my games I do not build very many fleets because in all honesty I don't really usually need to because I usually do a lot of economic stuff to where my economy is just so good to where I really don't need it. So, you know, there's that. But I think in this, let's, in this, like, campaign as Sweden, I think it's almost detrimental that we get an actual decent, you know, amounts of ships. So I'm going to start working on to that. And this sole process of moving all of our ships over to this one little island is a little bit slow and aggravating, but, you know, it'll be worth it. We have so many men now okay and do we finish up some of our coin no we haven't Dang. Okay, I'm not by the way I'm not going to do any more administrative oh shoot I'm not gonna do any more administrative power until guys this is the point you guys listen to this until we reach the next level of administrative tech because we actually do need administrative tech because we don't we do not want to fall behind any of the other European powers and I saw we were falling behind France which in my opinion, it's not good. Okay, now that we have a Ministry of Tech, production efficiency increased by 10? Can now build farm estates? Oh my goodness, that might help me out. Has been experimenting. Okay. Okay, Republic. Oh yes, I'd love to be a Republic. No, I would not. The, the Sweden is definitely not built to Republic. We are built to be a conquering empire. And the sooner everyone realizes that around us, the better relationships we actually will have. Like seriously. Like, and once you realize that we are not here to really conquer you, but we're actually here for the better detrimental good of you. I mean, let, let's be real here. Let's be real here, De Danish people. Be here. I'm, I'm gonna be real here. If we did not come and conquer you, then eventually, you know, somebody else would come and conquer you. Like the Germans, or the French, or the... or the English. So, it's no, it's better that I conquer you, where I can actually use your land to make an empire than all these other nations to just conquer you just to conquer you okay so in a way guys we are actually doing Denmark a service by conquering them so yeah it's very good that we're doing this <laughs> oh you safety in numbers really I almost want to start a military coalition against 
Oh, shoot. Yeah, I'm going to have to wait for my allies to also get stronger. Teutonic Order still likes me. Lithuania. We might need to improve our relationships with Lithuania a little bit. Liberian Order loves us. Teutonic still kind of debating, but it seems like English got itself under control. So now I think we could just relax because I have my main army over here. Going to put him in, uh, in uh, Capital Region. Capital Region. And let's see. How's our force limit doing? We could build one more soldier. Do we need one more soldier? Like, I I don't like to build anything over the limit unless I have to. Let's see. How many do we... Holy shoot, we have no cavalry. What in the world happened to all of our cavalry? Okay, that's good to note. Okay. Uh, let's build one cavalry unit. Um, let's see. How many do we need to delete? We need to delete three. Okay, so one, two... Three, ten. Yeah, that's a that's a correct amount. Okay, so three. You guys disband, disband units. All right, you one. I didn't even have enough money. Okay, we'll just go wait a little bit, and we'll get a lot more uh, money because we're not actually paying for that much. The Pope has elected new Pope. Whatever, I don't care about the Pope papacy. I mean, really, let, let's be honest here. I haven't really cared about the papacy for years. Oh, and I'm going to divide my uh, light ships, galleys. Oh, wait. There we go. There we go. Okay, that's that symbol. Okay, you guys are going to be your own separate ships because I'm going to have you guys specifically, specifically protect my trade. Um, I want you to protect my Novgorod trade. Uh, the merchants collect. Let's see. Who has the most valuable trade? This guy's have the most valuable trade. Protect that trade. I want you guys to protect that trade with as much enforceability as you guys can. Because I need that trade to be flowing through our banks like crazy. So we need that trade. We need it. Okay, I got some men over here. Yeah, I'm... Yeah, so once we have a ne our next cores on to everyone, we'll basically be fine. I mean, uh, I'm not I'm not really worried about this coalition, by the way. I know I'm kind of acting very nonchalant a lot about it, but... I mean... Oh my goodness, I have a merchant available. Why was I not using this? Okay. Let's see. Trade. Okay, let's see. Trade. I'm collecting from this trade node. Let's use our power in this trade node. I don't really have much power. Transfer trade power to send it here. No, let's get him. There we go. Alright, yeah. We need to kind of be transferring trade power over here to... Um, Baltic Sea, because the Novgorod trade node actually gives us a lot of power. Um, we don't really need anything from over here, because we basically... This trade node is 94% us. I, I mean, th there's really... Whoever... They almost basically can call this the, uh, Sweden trade node, because this is basically us. All of us. And, you know, that's not really where, you know... It's important to an extent, but I don't think, you know, it's that important. Because it's it's really not giving us money. That's why that's why I'm not really focusing on that one. Even though it's kind of nice to say that we own an entire trade node. Uh, would be rightful. You can no longer claim that Magilla would be rightful. Really? I thought we already had a claim on this. Shoot. I guess we have to core in the next couple years. Otherwise, things go bad. Okay, well, core. I better core all this stuff. Otherwise, we're going to have major difficulties. Okay. My missionaries are also doing their thing. Oh, I have another building. Yay! Okay. More marketplaces. Because I love marketplaces. Actually, should we build? No, we need local tax to modify. Because we need to get some of our taxes up. Like, right here. That's terrible taxes. Uh, the more tax... And the more taxes we have, the more we can actually start building more stuff. Which is what my general idea is. Yeah, yeah, Denmark, you're never going to be able to build up enough anymore in a coalition against... Yeah, I'm seriously going to have to wait for this coalition against me to end. Otherwise, you'll be looking at me fighting my king. Denmark has left. Yes! Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Has left. They finally understood that we pose no... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I, okay. I'm, I'm happy that they left the coalition, but I think they left the coalition in the in the wrong sense because we definitely pose a threat to their sovereignty like I'm, I'm not even gonna no joke guys we really do pose a threat to them and they should really not 
they should really not take us for granted. We will go and destroy them. Like, no joke. And I'm gonna go save my colony over here before it, like, destroys anything. Because you know what? I finally almost converted those stupid dang pagans. I'm not letting those stupid dang pagans ruin my stupid dang colony that's taken years to do different things with. Okay? Alright. Oh, I can invest in something. Really? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Tensions with the clergy. Oh, great. This is going to give me a purple sea. Purple state either likes me or six... Okay, where is Bendage Stein? Uh, thank you for giving me the Republic power. And I can upgrade some of my dogs. Thank you. Okay, so let's see. Oh, it's right over there. Okay. Well, you guys want to spawn rebels on the top of my head? Wait one second. Wait, wait until I get my soldiers in position. Okay. Okay, this is probably a month where I'm going to have to really reinforce everyone. Reinforce my entire army and spawn those rebels. Ha 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 Deal with that. My army's better. Ah. Take that. Take that. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Go better army. And I battle, won the Battle of Cola, which means this is still going to be cola, uh, coring, which means, guys, we have almost defeated these stupid... Like, culture-wise and religious-wise, these guys are almost all done. Like, it's taking us years upon years to get these guys underneath our control, but they are almost underneath, underneath our control completely, which is making me... My king, the Novgorod is less... Good! I'm glad they finally realized that I'm a nice dictator. Like, seriously, I'm a nice king. It increases our papal influence. Wait, did I do something? Because I have, like, suddenly lots of pap papal seize points. Oh, I think I just, like, increased the religion or something. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just converted this province. Yay! Oh, oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 We defeated the shamans. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We defeated the shamans. We defeated them. Yeah. Yeah. High five, everyone. Yeah. We defeated them. The shamanists no longer exist in our country. I'm pretty sure the culture is still alive, though. I don't think I've messed with the culture very much. I, I don't want the building screen. I don't want the building screen. Back. Okay, there we go. Shami. Swedish. Is this really the last? Oh, but I need to start converting some of these guys. Yeah, let's... We need to make sure that these guys are not... I mean, I could deal with Russian. The Russians I could deal with, but we cannot deal with them not being Catholic. Okay, so let's convert the last Shami religion. These are the last pagans in my land. Thank goodness, because these guys were giving me headaches for years. Alright, so I think the revolt list in that area is going to actually go down. Um, this, this is probably a better map mode for me. Yeah, the revolt list has way gone down. Okay, so I don't have to worry too much about that. Um, I need one more soldier right over here getting it right now and then I have a full balanced army again and my legitimacy is crazy good right now like we are really becoming legit people and let's see my Dem my claims in Asturias and Normandy or Norway are going pretty good oh no we were discovered I'm so scared oh man when I can I'm gonna fully annex you guys I'm already looking at your province and thinking, what can I do to annex them? What can I do to annex them? And I mean, look at Denmark. It's so weak right now. So is Norway. And now since I've divided them up, oh my goodness, they're not... Like, who are your allies now, Denmark? Molster. Dang it, how'd you get a powerful alliance? Seriously. Molster can actually raise up some decent amount of truth. That, that seems a little bit unfair. What about you guys? How'd you guys do? Uh, in a coalition against Sweden, allied with Cornwall. I think the coalition's almost dead. I think Norway's the only member of it right now. Which is fine by me. I really don't care. We got no war exhaustion. Wow, everything's just going great. Okay, I noticed earlier that we can replace our cogs and our galleys. Yeah, I know. I realized that a while back. I just didn't do anything yet. So, Basque. Uh, we have to wait for level 3, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. I guess we have to wait for level 3 or something. Alright, well, let's get a nationalist ideal. Um, what do we want, guys? Well, since we're a little bit down the line, 
Actually, can I get Matt the national mod, uh, the national manpower modifier? Because I want to make sure we have that. Actually, <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, I think I want to make sure we have that. Because I definitely want to make. Oh, I revolt. Am I still supporting my troops? No, that's definitely not gonna win. Okay, you guys, retreat, retreat, retreat. I'm still supporting my troops, aren't I? Yeah, I yeah, am. I'm still making good amount of money. Yeah, I think I, I think, I think the strategy for troop deployment is that you have to keep troops up. And I'm gonna start building over here some new chips, like some cogs, like seriously, because we need more cogs. We need like ten cogs. That way we can just start trans transporting lots of men. So I move my army over here. And we're going to get back control over Danis land because apparently we have to. We have to core this entire thing before these stupid rebels gain control of it. Glory to the world, everyone. That is such an exciting job. And I forgot I have a free Diplo. diplo. Let's see, how much do I have claims on? Well, I don't have very many claims right now. Really? I have, like, no claims on the any... I know I just got a claim on the Norway. How many how many wars can I fight against these guys? Let's see. Because I know... Take Hola... Is that actually enough? Because I need to just completely survive... Because basically, guys, what I'm thinking is I'm going to... I'm going to kind of sidestep the entire invasion of Norway. And I'm just going to try to surround them. So, I need Barriers... Uh, I need Aztava, got that, Boshin, got that, Edgier, Edgier, okay, and now do I have Bear, I got this, oh no I don't, oh, dang, okay, so that's the last, is there any way I can fabricate a claim on this? Yes! Oh, okay. So basically, guys, we will, in two wars, we will basically claim the rest of Norway. Also, I just realized I didn't have... I probably could just, probably just take the rest of Sklinland. Instead of, like, trying to do this individual coin stuff. But we have a long time before that happens. Oh, shoot, I have to make sure I also get this. Good! We finally left the coalition. I don't even know why they were in it. All mercenaries detached. Okay, divide. Actually, just, just, let's, that's as many troops as you can. Okay, you know what, divide again. Okay, you guys. Okay, you guys. Oh, I have to do this old-fashionedly? Really? Oh. Uh, let's go across here. Let's go across here. Come on, guys. Come on! Let's go! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Oh, man. Let's get this done with, seriously. There's, I have more cores to do. And I don't want these guys to somehow gain my land. That, that would be really bad. Like, that would be seriously really bad if they somehow gain my land, okay? Need one more good-sized army. This should be good. Okay. So, these two armies should be good enough to fight against the, uh threat that we have over here. I'm going to put that in quotations. Threat. And they have six. Well, we have seven. And we have elite troops, so this should be really good. And plus we have shock. We have shock advancement. Plus we're going to use our general. Which Gustus was never bad. Yeah, this is... Wow, we are losing badly. Kill them! Kill them all! Thank you. Okay. And I think we'll keep this army over here. Because we really do need to core these. We really need to core some of these things. Because if, if they keep rebelling against us, we're going to have difficulties. Like severe difficulties. So let's see. How much men can I raise right now? My king. The province of Kola is now under our culture. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. So let's see. Kola. Wait. Oh my. Yes! Oh yeah! In one episode, guys, we did two major things. We defeated the shamanists, and now we converted the rest of this to Swedish Catholic. This is ours. This is officially ours. No one else can claim it. Novgorod has claims. Well, I don't really care about Novgorod. And Novgorod, well, they're not really going to be in it anytime soon. So, this is all great news. So, let's see. What do we need to core? I think we need to core all of this stuff right here. So, let's start doing that. 
Alright, oh my goodness, that is a good episode right there. I should end the episode right now, but I'm not that mean. Alright, let's see, we have... Wait, how many could we raise? Hotkeys, hotkeys, there we go. 1920, three more troops, so let's see. I want to make this our main army. The main Swedish army, let's see, so... Two more, I think the combination is two more infantry and one more... Two more infantry and then one horseman. There we go. And then now we have the perfect combination. I have six troops over here, five troops over here defending S Sweden land from Sweden evils. And I have my troops over here. All right, let's see. Can I take that national modifier now? I want to make sure my my king, the province, is now considered part of our patrimony. We shall defend the last of our drop with the blood. That means is it now giving us taxes? My king, England, has no control or whatever. I don't really care. England can do whatever it wants. I don't really care. It's not really... I gained 0 0.59 taxes from these guys. That's good enough for me because you know what? I'm happy to now have that province. <laughs> like, seriously, I'm now happy to have that province. Um, I'm going to move you guys to over here to my mini fleet I'm creating. Mini fleet. Mini. It's a mini fleet. Okay, we we'll also could fortify. Let's do this mission because it's so easy. And it gives us like a lot of good stuff for just how easy it is. We're almost there. 400 military power. 401. Can I now do national conscripts? Can I now do national conscripts? You can now invest into a new idea. Can I please? I can't? Really? Ah. Oh. Oh, wait. I'm supposed to wait until I'm at Limber 7, aren't I? Dang. Dang it. So very close. I wanted to do it, guys. I just wanted to do it, so... Let's see. We have to move our troops over here, and... Oh, man. I given... Man, this episode's one of those kind of, like, laid-back episodes. Huh. Didn't expect that to be like this. My king, the... Are they trying to do counter spells against us? Well, that's definitely not gonna work. Just Holy Roman Empire has been elected. Yada yada yada. Something with the stupid papers. I don't really care about what goes on in the Holy Roman Empire. I only care if they unite, which would freak me the heck out. Cause then I have to actually worry about a powerful order. Because right now I basically divide the bulk. Ah! I hate you. I hate you, game. I hate you. I mean, I had such good stability, too. Like, so good. Well, it's actually, it's almost time to boost up again. So, yeah. This is why, I, I don't know why, guys. I have a really just obsession with boosting up the three stability. We have to make sure that always stays at three. And let's build that defense in duck. I think it's right here. There we go. That will give us that bonus event. Can I invest in a new idea? Dang, I still can't. Okay, and yeah, now we're just going to be sitting here for... <sighs> until our truces run out. When do our truces run out? Oh, shoot. Now it's showing all the cores I have on them. Good. I was like, I know I have cores on these guys. I'm not going crazy here. Like, I know I have lots and lots of cores on these guys. Once I get... Basically, I might actually go to war with Norway first. And what I might... What I'm thinking about doing, guys, is I'm going to claim all the rest of the stuff I need to. Like, I'm going to play Bethuis and all that. Okay, I just got a free Diplo. I'm just going to instantly start getting a Conquest Causes Belli on Schilland. Sleswig. Sleswig, Finland, Lawland. Oh, man. Yeah, just keep getting cores on this because I'll be able to, once I claim all that last little province, I'll be able to do... How close are we? 56%. All right, we still got a long ways to go. So just speed up time. Not really anything of importance. And we can actually put down the military spending just by a little bit. We don't have to be, like, on ball with that anymore. Okay, our arrangements is now ready. Whatever. Okay, how is our conversions going? Good. All right, we are doing, like, we got, our empire is now, like, I think our empire is officially now stable. We have stabilized the new Sweden empire. I mean, we haven't yet expanded to too much of this. Well, scratch that. I, as the legacy of the Vikings, are conquering lots of the Viking lands, as you guys have known. 
I'm also trying to make a new Sweden Empire that the Swedish in modern day times or in any time did not ever reach. Got an alliance off of, well not alliance off, but it's some war that I'm gonna, <laughs> Lithuania. Please tell me it's not against Muscovy. If it's against Muscovy, we are in deep doo-doo. I'm not, uh, Bohemia, Burgundy, and, okay, they're at war with Austria, so they'll be distracted. Uh, they have a royal marriage. Actually, <clears throat> sure, we'll join in. Milan, I mean, to be honest with you, most of these guys, the only people I'm really going to have to be worried about is Burgundy. But the rest I can just kind of like sidestep and be like, hey, yeah. I, I mean, uh, Bohemia, look at Bohemia, guys. Like, Bohemia is in no state to fight. So, and whose war am I even joining in on? I'm joining in on Take Parma. Who's taking Parma? The Conquest of Parma, by who? That makes no sense. Why am I in... Wait, wait. Did I just... Oh, my goodness. I think I just joined a stupid war. Dang. I knew it was going to happen eventually. My allies are kind of... Fun that way. So I knew it would happen eventually. Huh. Just didn't think it would happen this quickly, though. Wow. Just wow. Increase centralization. Oh, I can't wait for that. Increase centralization. That will help us out so much. Boostability! Okay. Catholicism, conversions. Going great! In fact, I think the Pope has... Basically a lot of power right now. Like, I'm just looking at, like, the tolerance of the Pope and how he, like, how the power is spread out. We have 61% right now. We for Oh, no, we formed his eye. That's what's happening. Okay, so... The Protestant Reformation should happen very soon. Which, at that point, I will be wanting to switch over. Hooray! I still can't switch over to Karax yet. I have to wait for level 9. We're getting close, though. We almost got our first cannons, which will be epic. Which, does anyone even have the first cannons yet? Because that'd be really, really good to know. Uh, no, I don't see... I'm, I'm, I'm honestly going to keep that in the future. Like, after this episode, guys, I'm going to figure out how to keep keep some certain tabs manpower yes all right let's see does anyone else have well we're one of the maximum technology guys I kind of realize that so we're 686 France is 767 so we're really good so we really excel at what at diplomacy they really excel about everything else burgundy's 656 no I think no dark green doesn't mean your head Light green is where you need to be at, so 668, no, N basically, I'm basically with the other powers, that's basically why I want to realize, guys, and that's a good thing to know, Catholicism, still going strong, we are straight up, pro we are straight up Catholic, yeah, also converting most of our other provinces to Catholic, which is probably not that hard, no missionaries selected, okay, no missions, well, we have tons of provinces to convert, I'm just slowly going down the line, Okay, like that. Wait, really? We have another missionary? Oh, no, we don't. For some reason, it's like saying we have no... What? Oh, we have no mission. Oh, that kind of mission. Whoops. Doi! A doi! Okay, so accumulate money. Really? That's all it needs to accumulate... Wow. And this is why I have... A soldiers over here in Northern Zealand fighting for the freedom of the Denmark people even though we're also oppressing them at the same time okay so guys I want any episode here this has been a you know kind of relatively easy episode you know this this is what, this is what kind of Victoria I mean this is what kind of EU4 is about it's about you know kind of taking it easy kind of relaxing and then going into all that chaotic war you know kind of take it easy kind of relaxing then going to all that rebellion war I mean, this is just, you know, this is just what, you know, kind of what Victoria 2 is kind of all about. I mean, not Victoria 2, EU4. That's just, it's just the facts, guys. It's just what EU4 is about. And I'm just going to kill all these guys. Kill all these guys. Kill all these guys. Okay, I'm done. They're all dead. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been a very, very, very productive episode. Episode. Okay, we will... 
didn't I already reach it? I have at least oh. Okay, well I can I can actually wait. I can actually wait for 235 ducats. Let's see how this war going. Uh did England get involved somehow? No, it's Mantua. Mantua. Do we still have all the massive forces? Somehow, why are you at war with Muscovy? Why are you at war with Muscovy? Why did I not... I guess I didn't have to be dragged into this because of something. I, I don't know. I don't know why. I'm kind of wondering why that's happening, so... Huh. I might... I might, what I might do is just get a white piece with Tuscany because I don't think I need to be in this war honestly let's let's be real here I don't need to be in this war and you know what and both of my diplomats just finished up with their super piece all right I'm just going to hmm concede defeat no, you guys won't accept that. So, guys, thank you guys for watching. And in the next episode, I will be going to war with Norway for the final, basically the final annexation war. We are going to finish up, well, not finish up annexing. We're basically going to get to the, basically going to finish up to the point where we can annex them, which is going to be exciting. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.